Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is me Sir June and for today's video, we're going to talk about George Herbert Mead's idea of the self. So this is still part of our series of discussions on topics that are related to understanding the self course. So if you want to learn something about the perspective of the sociologist George Herbert Mead on the self, then keep watching this video until the end. Interactionism. In this theory, Mead believes that the self is created and developed through human interaction. As the self interacts with people, then the self is also trying to create itself. The self is also trying to develop through this process of human interaction. So this interaction particularly pertains to the interaction of the person towards his family, towards his environment, towards his uh, schools, towards his village, and towards the society. This is basically the point of view of this symbolic interactionism of George Herbert Mead in relation to the development of the self. To support this claim that the self and identity are social products. George Herbert Mead gives these three reasons why the self is indeed a product of human interactions. Number one reason, we do not create ourselves out of nothing. For George Herbert Mead, the society helps us in the making of ourselves. The foundations of who we are, our self-concept, our self-perceptions, and even our choices in life are affected by our social and historical context that we are into. First example, we may transfer from one culture to another. However, who we were from the past culture that we have will still affect our choices and decisions. It will still affect and will still be part of who we are as of this very moment. Another example is our choices right now, for instance, your choice of course. You know, sometimes our choice of profession is affected by what is demanded by our society or what is trend in our society or what is expected by the society there might be some of you right now who choose to become teachers maybe because you were influenced by one or two or some of the members of your family who were also part of teaching profession this is the point of view of George Herbert Mead that we do not create ourselves out of nothing instead we always create ourselves out of something and that something is our human interaction with our family, with our society, and with our environment. The second reason to support the claim of George Herbert Mead that the self is a social product, whether we like it or not, we need others who will affirm our identity and ourselves. There is a reality that we need the reinforcements from others. We need the affirmations from other people of our own self-concept of who we think we are. We also ask other people to affirm our identity 
And this is the fact that in the making of ourselves, indeed, we are influenced by our society. One very common example we have today is the relationship of the self in the social media. You know, whether you like it or not, in Facebook, we used to gain more likes, more positive comments and feedbacks from our Facebook friends, right? You know, many people would like to gather more positive reinforcements, positive feedbacks, positive comments, and all of these uh, things that would actually help us realize that what we think of ourselves are also correct because this is what others are also telling about us. The third reason of George Herbert Mead that supports his idea that the self is a product of social interaction is that what we think is important to ourselves may also have been influenced by what is important or significant in our social and historical context. For example, maybe a student likes to become a teacher because he grows up with a family who values education or a student is passionate about studies because he grew up with a family who are also passionate and loving about education. You know, another example is that in some people, money might be very significant to them. Why? Because they might have grown up in a particular community in which money is so important. For example, those persons who usually come from uh, poor families or those people who have struggled much to earn a living. So for them, money is very significant. A single peso, a single centavo is very important. Bakit? Because pinaghirapan yon. And that is why what is sometimes significant to us, what is sometimes valuable to ourselves, is also influenced by our own historical and social context. Those are the supports or the reasons of George Herbert Mead in his claim that the self is indeed a product of human interaction. So as a sociologist, as a noted thinker of the contemporary era, George Herbert Mead believes that in the making of ourselves, we are influenced by our society. We are influenced by our family and we are also influenced by our social, economic, and historical context of the time where we are existing. This is Sir Jun and I hope that you have learned something in our discussion today. God bless and see you.